Alison. Good afternoon, sir. Hey, Riri, good afternoon. How are you doing? Are you guys hearing me? Yes, sir. Oh, okay, cool. And, um, just encourage others to jump in, please. Good afternoon, um, students, how are you? Good afternoon, sir, I'm fine. Good job, good, good, good to know. And, um, I don't know, what I think happened earlier is whenever I 
I don't know if there's any truth to it. I can find out. Whenever I create a link and if somebody goes on before me, I can't. You can put what I call ICT. So I opted to just use an old link, but I will be able to, to send it off nonetheless. All right. Um, let us just see if we can go through um, some of these questions now. Kanisha sent me, not me, she sent us. She sent us uh, some past papers. And we will go into those past papers. On Tuesday. No, let me see if I can. Um, business studies, business studies, August 2026. Let me see if I've done this question. Uh, I don't think I did this one, did I? Let me edit this one. Uh, I don't think I did Okay, so I don't want to share the screen. What is not doing? Me. Okay. So here is a little problem. So the coming the application you want to share. All right, basic. Um go back. Let's see if this works now. Let me see if this one works. Can you let me in, please? I thought I did. Um, yeah, I don't have anybody else in the way to know. Was that Shana while I was asking to be let in? No, I think so. Okay. So I have to do that. Anyway. So that's what I have to do. All right. So. Okay. That was Shana. Are you seeing the screen? Yes, sir. Um, yes, sir. What should I do? Should I? How should I do this? All right, let me see if I can. Let's see if that works. I'm trying to I'm trying to do some magic here. And, uh, no, it doesn't work. All 
And so what I'm going to do is to, is to do the question on the past because I was actually trying to copy the question. And um, I was trying to copy the question, but let me see if I screenshot it. Ah, who says that your teacher is not bright? Sometimes. Let me know if you're seeing. Let me know if you're seeing the question for your little marks. Yes. Sir. All right. Good job. Uh -huh. um, so do me a favor. I'm going to give you an opportunity to. Oh. I'm going to give an opportunity to, 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 to attempt the question for me before I come and do it. Today's going to be a really working day because, I mean, there isn't much more to this topic. And I mean, as I said before, we are winding down very nicely. Um, my disappointment, though, ah, there it goes. Critical point. I was about to say that my disappointment is that I don't, I'm not seeing as many questions with critical point. But I'm seeing part two here that asks for critical point. See, 11 marks. You win, a, you win an exam. To answer any two questions for for thirty marks and one piece of the question is eleven marks. You're good to go. So, dude, all when 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 it says critical point, matter of fact, the, the mere fact I just said to find f of x x, f of y y, and f of x y. What do you have to first find? F of x. And and then find f of x x. And then. And then f of y and f of Very y good. y. Very good. So you see, we have to find f of x and f of y. Then they never asked us, did they? No, sir. But... No, but we can't read without, we can't read without f of x and f of x y without finding f of x and f of y. All right, I'll give you three minutes to do all six of those. Remember, we want, we want to do all six of them. Even though they asked you for f of x y, I want to do f of y x as well. Six of those, quick and fast. Let me know when you're... When you finish, come guys, I want you to be working. Every one of you to be working. Afternoon, Lisa, Danica, Jaiwana. Um, big up on yourself. Just clear in the chat. Quick and fast. On the mark gets it, go.
Um, guys, please encourage your other classmates to come out. Come on out. I'm only seeing 14 of you. And I know I have more than 14 of you in a class. Please. Because send them incident for that class is in session and sir is waiting. Thanks.
How is it going? Finish? Yes, sir. Does it say something more? Watching this say something. All right. Um, anybody else still working? Yes, sir. How much more time you need? Um, maybe another five minutes. All right. All right, for those of you who finished working the 16th, can you go ahead and, and start the critical point for me, please? I had done the critical point for you in class before. Just go and give an attempt to the critical point for me, please. For those of you who are, who are finished with the first six differentials, first order and second order differentials, all right? No answer? Hello? So I already did it. Oh, you already completed the, 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 the stationary point? Yes, I tried. Okay, yeah. no problem. Uh, have, have you, have you, okay, great. All right, Um, soon come. I'm going to give three minutes, not five. I'm going to give three minutes, I soon come. All right. Um, anywhere in it? Anywhere closer?
talk to me. Guys, please, we have not reaching away yet. Answer me, man, please. I'm finished with the first part, but I'm stuck at the critical point. I'm finished with the first part, but stuck at the critical point. But an item was missed. All right, cool. All right. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. All right. I'm coming. I'm starting in two seconds.
All right. Wait or not? Here I come. Um, we, for those of you who are still working, we need to improve and increase our, our efficiency or speed. As we could complete the questions, we're taking too long um, for a topic that is not difficult, one, and two, for a topic that carries a lot of marks, we need to be able to move more quickly so we can maximize other questions. So, okay. So, f of x, y, let me know if you see my screen. Is it equals to 3x squared? Are you? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. f subscript x of x, y is 3 to 6x plus 3y plus 3. Do you have your little I agree. Yes, anybody, sir. Anybody disagrees? No, sir. All right, good job. And then um, F subscript Y of XY is going to be equals to 2Y plus 3X plus 1. Yes, sir. Agree? Yes, sir. Yes, yes sir. Sir, sir mm -hmm. I understand. Um, if mm -hmm. you leave like as just why it wrong. If you leave it as what 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 which one? Like you have two y plus three x plus one. Well, like if me have y, which part the one that it wrong? Yes, ma'am. So I never differentiated. Okay. Yeah, ma'am. Can say honestly. Um, the rest of you, if you're not getting it, please don't say yes, sir. Let me correct it from now, so that we can be able to move and move along. This is an official class, so I'm not going to be going over what it is that I've done here. I'm moving ahead, so please. Just speak to me openly. If you're having a challenge, let me know. All right. So, f of x, x. Go ahead. Why didn't you put um, the 3x instead of it? Why didn't you put the 3x where? Um... For x of three y, the first one, the f x sir. Mm -hmm. Why didn't you put the three x? Because I'm differentiating three x. When I differentiate three x, I forget. Okay. <clears throat> I don't think you get me. Let me let, let me go again. So when I differentiate three x squared, I'm going to get six x. Yeah. Yes, sir. I get that. Can I differentiate y squared again? To zero. Hello? Hello? Okay. Can I differentiate y squared? What do I get? So y? No, man. I'm differentiating with respect to x. Oh. I'm differentiating with respect to x. So when I differentiate with respect to x, when I differentiate y, y is a constant, so it's going to go to zero. When I differentiate three x y with respect to x, the y is constant, so I write it back. And when I differentiate three x, I'm going to get three, so it's three y. And when I differentiate x with respect, I'm um, three x with respect to x, I'm going to get three. And the differential of y is a constant, zero. The six is a constant, zero. See, so no? constant, just leave it out, yeah, when I differentiate a constant, I get zero. You get me? Yes, sir, I understand that. Okay, thank you. So f of x, x now is just going to be equal to 6. f of y, y is going to be equal to 2. Let me know if you agree with that. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Good, good job. So this is f of x, y now 
f of x y differentiate x with respect to y i get three agreed yes yes, yes sir, yes, sir. i get three again nice so i know that my answer is right because both sets argue me the correct thing no for stationary sure. point go ahead go ahead um, sir go back over we get the um the f x y f x y i'm differentiating f subscript x which is this one with respect to y this is a x so it's zero this is a y so i'm going to get three so watch me watch this. Never did that move no all right f subscript x mm -hmm. when i differentiate it with respect to y this becomes a constant so it's zero when oh, I differentiate oh, okay. 3x with respect to y, it's 3. And when I differentiate a constant, I get 0, so it answers only 3. You see it now? Yes, sir. Right, cool job. Are you sure, Danico? Yes, sir. Right, cool. So, for stationary points, um, f of x and f subscript y must be equal to zero. So I'm going to have 6x plus 3y plus 3 equals zero. Call that my equation one. And then I'm going to have, uh-oh, 3x plus 2y plus 1 equals zero. Anybody spotted it a while ago? Yes, yes, sir. yes, sir. What did I do? Yes, sir. Rearrange them. All right, very good, very good. I rearrange it so nobody should say, "So it's not the same thing you have." I rearrange it because when I do my simultaneous, the x's must be under each other, and the y's must be under each other. All right. So all I did was just to rearrange. All I did was just to rearrange. All I did was a three rearrange. All right, so let's go. All right, so let's go. So what I'm gonna do now is to say, rearranging I'm going to get 6x plus 3y is equal to negative 3. Tell me if I agree. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It's equal to negative 1. And now, yes. good job. And now I'm trying to solve simultaneously. Which other variables would you like me to eliminate first? Which variable do you want me to eliminate first? The x. The x's. So what do I do to eliminate the x's? Multiply the second equation by two. Multiply the second equation by two and you will correct. Everybody see what you said a while ago? Yes, sir. Any dissensions? Anybody yes, who don't agree? All right, good job. Um and thanks for talking up in class. Um see you. Um Where is Mali? Sorry, say that again. You what? The group is doing their operation today, so he's not here. Okay, and and the rise in the same group? No, sir. Leroy, the other side. Sit down, and I go. Okay, I can understand. I'm telling you, Leroy, come to class, and I'm saying, I'm too far. I'm in charge. Yeah, man. Thanks, man. Thanks, lovey. I. I have passed him already out there and is about an hour afterwards he comes into the class and I pray to God that he listens to the recording and he hears this. But let's go. Um, to who much is given of him or her much is expected. Let's go here, guys. So I'm gonna stop. So yes, I agree. I'm gonna multiply here by by three. No, by two. So 
that's equation one, that's equation two. And if I multiply that by two, I'm going to get two threes. Six X plus four Y equals negative two and a quarter. If I remember, I'm going to water in it. Right, tell me, you're right, man. Don't, don't, don't take up the water. Don't leave it there. <laughs> All right, so let's go. So now I'm going to be working with equations um, three, uh, one and three. I'm going to be working with equations one and three. In progress. I'm going to be working with equations one and three. Let me just check. Yes, please. So instead of multiplying equation three by two, couldn't you have um subtracted from equation one as is to get equation three? Could I have what? Asking instead of Multiplying equation two by two, couldn't mm -hmm. have subtracted equation what else? One equation from equation one and get like equation two. Mm -mm. Because the coefficients of x and the coefficients of y are different. The only way you can go ahead straight and subtract is unless you have the same coefficient, like you have. If I had 6x and 6x up top, I could just go ahead and subtract. You remember, I'm trying to eliminate one of the variables. Oh. The aim is to eliminate one of the variables. The aim is to eliminate one of the variables. Um, uh, you, you, you follow what I'm saying, Alo? Yes, sir. All right, good, good. <clears throat> so... So this is what we're going to be doing then. So I'm going to subtract, mm, which is which? Um, say two, three minus one. I don't know all the good teacher right up and down and something so that might that must see if so equation three minus one so it's gonna be three minus one and three minus one is gonna be six x minus six x which is zero and four y minus three y is just simply y and negative two minus minus three is positive one talk truth Yes, sir. Is there someone in the class that not seen what I'm a bit a while ago? Sir, me never see that. Go again, please. That's equation one. This is equation three. So I'm saying equation three minus equation one. What is 6x minus 6x? What is when I subtract 6x from 6x, I get? So when you say 6x from 6x, zero. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, and I say so 4y minus 3y equal. One. Okay, one. Mm -mm. Negative one. Mm -mm. Sir, wait. Negative what the heck? Four y minus so three. Y? Oh, one y. So I'm thinking of negative two. Negative two. Sir, why? What is negative two minus minus three? Thank you. 
one, sir. Very good. That's why I got it to be yeah. one. So, so let me just open it to And then put y equals one into say inflation one. Six x. Six x plus three is equal to three. Six x is equal to three minus three. Six x is equal to negative six. And then no negative one. Hold on a minute, please. Look at that. Right. And you know, your good teacher again is like a spirit meetings, and um, he's very much in a meeting. But I'm here. Um, tell me now, what are the critical points? 
very few ones and positive ones. Very good. Mm hmm So is the question finished here? Yes or no? So you have to do something like B equals something, something, something. So I'm going to say something like um, D is going to be equals to F of X, 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 Y times F of X, Y, F of Y, Y times X, Y minus F of X, Y. Do you agree? Yes, sir. Good job. I'm going to tell him I'm going to tell him I'll put my, my feeling after this. F of X, X was F of X, X F of X, X is 6 and F of Y, Y is 2. F of X, X is 6 F of Y, Y is 2 F of X, Y was 3, I think. Was it 3? Yes, sir. And 2, 6 is 12. Minus 9, which is equal to 3, which is positive. Right? So if that is positive, we're also we're looking at f of x, x. And if f of x, x is also positive, we have a relative minimum. True or false? Mm -hmm. True. Very good. And those are 11 marks. Let me tell you where I have my, my serious concerns. In the, um, hold on, let me just. All right, moving along. Welcome and apologies. Um, let me tell you where I have my concerns. When, when, when I'm in the face of session, I can read body languages. And you know, the only time I sit on in class is when I'm not feeling well. I'm always roving. Roving and looking over your shoulders. Then I know who is learning from who is not learning. But um, I have a feeling that there are a number of you here that are not following. By raising your emoji in 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 it in there sure give me a show of hands of those who got that as the answer i'm saying okay makita yes jawana yes randy yes tamar yes aliso I'm seeing only five. All right. Can you can lower your hands? Thank you. Let me see a show of hands of now of those who got partial sections correct. Sorry, is it? And you just have to try hands up those who got a section, maybe like the critical points, but never get the, the relative minimum. Am I to agree that everybody got the negative one comma one? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. You might ask question another way. Is there anybody in the class that never that that when they saw the simultaneous equation didn't get negative one comma one or you didn't know how to solve a simultaneous equation. Yes, 
All right. I'm not going to belabor the point. All I wanted to know is that you. All right, so that was the first paper that is in the group. Um, oh, that was the first paper in the group. Um, that's August 2016, and this is now 2010. August 2016, this is now 2010. All right, so I'm just trying to find my other multivariate functions. What? Uniform X? All right. Um, a data processing company employs fifty senior hundred and that for the. All right. Let us try this question. Mm -mm. That's not what I do. Print, print screen, and then I do this, and then I, and then I do this. What is the minimum cost? And then I do that. I'm trying to copy another paper too. Thank you. Where do I find it now? Screenshot. Mm -hmm. Screenshot. So, first, I'm from the people who said that we is the theme of it. All the way to the party and actually, I'm active in four days in January. That was done, and I think she followed up with four calls. Please, we'll finish up here. So, that means it's a walk on the transition with her absent. All right, guys, I, you see that I'm trying to. Undo, undo, undo. Okay. All right. Okay. okay. All right. So it says, a data processing, let me just check before Mr. Nika says, sorry, now I see your screen. You see the screen, Danica? Yes, sir. All right, good. So it says now, a data processing company employs both senior and junior programmers. A large project will cost and you have a function, a multivariable function, dollars where X and Y represents the number of junior and senior staff used respectively. 
So that last line where X and Y represent the number of junior and senior programmers used respectively, who is representing X? Junior. And who is representing Y? Senior programmers. Seniors. So when they say, when they say junior and senior, respectively, it means that the junior one comes first and the senior one comes after. And X comes first, so senior, senior is Y and junior is X. How many employees of each kind should be applied, should be assigned to the project in order to minimize cost? All right. So this question is a question also multivariable function. So what I want you to do for me is to go, go through with the six calculations again. And then solve the simultaneous equation. I'm going to give you. I'm going to give you seven minutes to do that for me. Seven minutes. Start for me, please.
far. I think that was um, everybody. Um, guys, where are we? Are we okay? Want to look at next week? This week coming the fine tip that within the next three days of next week. Yes, um, say it again. Yes or no? Yes, sir. Okay, what about the rest of you? All right. Um, all yes, right. sir. Um, yes, sir. Okay. You, you know, it would be nice if when you're finished, you say to me, sir, we are finished. Because I'm here looking at the time and say, wow, I'm taking long, Iman. All right. So let us see how best we can. We can. Oh, Lord. Let me see if I can. I should have done that while I was waiting on you. Oh, come on now. Um, undo. You know what? I'm going to let it stay. Because that's going to give me a lot of problems. So it's easy for me to just rewrite. Sorry about that, guys. Um, system needed to be charged. Thank you for reassigning the whole ship. I appreciate it. Sir, what was that? You were breaking up a while ago. You know what I'm saying? I my system died on me. So I apologize for that. But I was also saying whoever got the host ship, they immediately transferred it back to me. So I was saying thanks to that person. Okay, sir. Mm -hmm. All right. So let us let us continue. All right, so what we're going to be doing now is to find C of X of X, Y. Remember now, what it is that you're looking at, um, we are doing a business program and sometimes the question may come straight forward and there are times the question may come in a business sense like this one. Now, once you see the multivariable function, F of X, Y equals something, or you say C of X, Y equals something, don't be afraid. And you talk about, to minimize, don't be afraid. Um, you may say, but sir, you never taught us anything like that. Not true. I have done questions with you. I know you know how to do the multivariable functions, differentiations, first order, second order, partial derivatives. Just work the question. 
I'm not teaching you. Per question. Or back. Am I breaking up? All right, hold on. Yes, Are you hearing me better now? Yes, sir. All right, thanks. So I just want you to just work the question as you are taught. So differentiating C, subscript X of XY, that's going to become 6X squared minus 12Y. Tell me if you agree. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. sir I didn't realize that it was 2X to the 2X cube. What, what do you use it as? 2X. Yeah, it needs to say. Whenever I realized there was a 3 above the X. Uh, hold on, let me look to see if I may write something wrong for the paper. Let me see the question. Um, oh, is that right? Which part of the P? Oh, God. Yeah. <laughs> now, listen to me and listen to me carefully. It's not going on the exam. No, make a mistake there. You have to loop on the function properly. Please. Yeah, man, I feel like I'm gonna function properly. Yeah. Um, I would I agree with you that you know the could put a little space there, but when I feel like I'm gonna function properly. Anybody use it as to excuse? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right, and then now. C of x, 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 y, I get 12x. You want to get that? Yes, sir. It would be negative. Danico? Yes, sir. So God no. God no, sir. How, how, what 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 this says c of x x don't it? Mm -hmm. So that I'm I'm differentiating. Oh, this. I say, I'm oh okay. sorry, sorry. Okay, thank you. Well, don't say God no next time. All right, let's go. I'm happy that you see it though. But you sure you see it, Dan Dan? Sir, me no see it. I don't have negative twelve x. All right, I soon come to you, Makira. Dan Dan, talk to me now. Yes, sir. I'm seeing you, sir. All right, cool, cool. All right. We talk. Remember, you know, do you do you agree with C subscript X of XY to be six X square minus twelve Y? Yes, sir. All right. So I'm differentiating with respect to X again. So this is X. When I differentiate to X, I'm going to get 12 X. This goes to zero. Okay, good job. Good job. Um, I'm a little worried. I'm a little worried because. I know you know how to do it. I know then you can know how to do the, dif the differentiation. I know not to know how to do the differentiation. Hmm. Hmm. But I'm worried that you guys are going to make some silly mistakes. And um, and that's what I'm worried about. The careless mistakes. It's not whether or not you know how to do something. I mean, no, you know how to do it. I've been in class. I'm a seat. All right. Let me do that with respect to why I know. Negative 12x plus 2y. Tell me if you agree with that. Yes, sir. All right. Good. Yes. Oh, it's, it's, it's your then you answer me strong because you agree. Let me go to the CYY now. Why am I going to only be two, don't it? 
Yes, sir. All right, put. Let's put the C, X, Y. The X differentiate with respect to Y. Let me get negative 12. Where you get? Sir, I see it. Let me get boop, boop. Boop, boop. Yeah, man. Magic. Let me go try it right now. C, Y different, differentiate with respect to Y. get negative 12 again. Yes, yeah, sir. Bop, Good bop. to go. Good to go. All right. So we know so we're on the right track. Because X, Y, and, and Y, X equal the same. Now, for stationary points, oh, it says how many employees of each client should be assigned to the project in order to minimize the cost. What, what do you think? How do you think we can find the number of employees that is known as a what for us? Hmm? Sir, the critical point. Go through, Randine. You're ready. That's a critical point. Yes, ma'am. So now in order to find the critical point, what we need to do is solve simultaneously. Rockstone. So I know what's saying. Hmm. Here, somebody kind of say, so I'm going to know, but you kind of don't say, but I'm going to know, sir, I'm going to see what you do. All right. 6x minus 12y. Is equals to zero and um negative twelve x plus two y is equals to zero. Hmm. What method must I use for this one? Somebody says substitution. Substitution. Yeah, man. <laughs> so we. <laughs> We must use the substitution method. I'm going to tell you why. Because one equation is linear and the other equation is quadratic. So one equation is linear, the other one is quadratic. Now, I can't use the elimination method for when one is linear and one is quadratic. So one is linear. Linear, the highest power in it is raised to one. Quadratic, the highest power is raised to two. A cubic, the highest power is raised to three. A quartic, the highest power is raised to four, etc., etc. Fair enough? Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to let I'm going to let 2y equal 12x. Can you see what I did right there? From equation 1 to equation 2? No, sir. I'm using, I'm transposing no, this equation. I'm transposing equation two. So in a transpose equation two, I have negative 12x plus 2y equals zero. I'm adding... 12x to both sides. I'm going to get 2y equals 12x. Tell me what I did. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, every semester, do you think it is useful to have that reflection on your teaching and learning experience on this document? Hold on, guys. As per usual, every day I'm in a meeting. Uh, and that would be for your purpose because your your experience in your past is not going to assist the ACL. It's going to assist you perhaps the next time you're teaching the course. So, uh, you know, what, what are your thoughts? All right, come, let's go. I won't answer them. 
Did you, no, no, so you agree with this one now? I'm going to call this one equation three. You agree with this one? Yes, sir. So I'm dividing both sides by two. So y is going to be equal to 6x. Tell me that's your agreement, guys. If you're not agreeing, let me know. Sir. Yeah. Can you go over that, please? The late um, 2y equals 12x. Where did you forget? You know, tell us about it, Dandan. You're not afraid to ask uh questions. But you only ask questions online. You're not asking questions in a class. You afraid of me in a class? No, sir. So when are not talking to me in a class? Sir, I don't know. I'm not asking my brain. <laughs> Such an idiot. Lord, help <laughs> our Jesus. I'm going to pray for you. Help <laughs> our Lord. <laughs> you know, I, I love the attitude, my love. All right. Um, And I mean, there are others of you, of course, who will talk. But the rest of you talk to me in classes. Or she alone now. Maybe I'm, maybe I'm too handsome. But anyhow, don't answer that, Dan Dan. Just leave that alone, Dan Dan. All right. So what I'm saying to you, Dan, is look at this and make that read. Negative 12x plus 2y equals 0. I'm transposing because I want one of the variables to be the subject of the formula. So what I'm going to do is to add 12x to both sides. Hmm. Let me Yeah, Mr. Shan is not answering Mr. Shan is in a cross. So what I'm saying, so what is happening now is this cancels with that. So all I'm left with now is two is two y equals twelve x. See here, two y equals twelve x, and then I divide both sides by two. All right, so you see that now. Bless up your good self. All right, now I'm gonna put y equals six x into the quadratic one. Um, let's go. And when you contract it, I see X. Mm -mm. I see Y. I'm going to put 6X. So we have 6X squared minus 12 times 6x equals 0. So this is 6x squared. 6 times 12 is 72. Yes, sir. What is common? What, what is common here? That is common there. Okay. 6x. Very good. The 6x ah. is common. And I'm going to have that minus, minus 12. Agree with me or disagree with me? 6x times, is this 6x yes, times 12 is 72. All right, go to. All right, now, so either 6x equals 0, which implies x is equal to 0, or x minus 12 is equal to 0, which implies x is equal to 12. So I have two sets of values. Many marks for this question? So it has to be more than 11 marks. OK, 12 marks. Whoa. This one is a little bit more. Yeah. I'm sure I give more marks. I'm give 11 marks for the top one. I'm sure I give more marks for this one. Um, so I have two points of x. My original function is, all right, I'm going to ask somebody to read the original function. It's all the way up here. And I want to, let me just recall. Can you give me the original function? Let me recall it, please. R-E-C-A-L-L. -L. 
C of X, Y equals two thousand. Uh huh. X cube. What can I? What can I? Plus two x cubed. Mm -hmm. Minus twelve x y. Mm -hmm. Y squared. I'm so committed to something that's right there. All right, cool. No. All right, thanks, my love. So, C of That's not what I'm supposed to be using. I'm solving simultaneously. I finished this already. Forgive me. Sorry. They're voting on something else. Hold on. The Walters, Miss Walters, Miss Morrison, Dean Chan. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for five nine nine. Walk with both walkers. I'm gonna do a count now. Where did my vote come, Jesus? Everybody else wants three, four, five, what six, seven. What are they voting on? Oh, Mrs. Richards, so Judy, for her four. Eight now with Mrs. Green Clark, nine, Miss Morrison. And that is nine of how many? Nineteen. Okay. That's about half. Let me pause again. Not really nineteen. Excluding Miss Richards. Excluding. Miss Richards. We now vote here because we don't know what I'm about. All right, so we're not we're not substituting that into the original function. Remember, we're solving simultaneously, so we're going to substitute this now into the x formula. So when x is equal to zero, so recall, this is what I should, I should have recalled. Recall y is equal to 6x. So, so when x is equal to zero, I'm going to have y is equal to 6 times zero. y is equal to zero. Similarly, if x is equal to 12, y is equal to 6 times 12. 6 times 12 is 72. y is equal to 72. So the critical points is going to be zero comma zero and twelve comma seventy two. Do you agree with that? Anybody got that? Yeah, for the first one, I got zero comma zero, but I didn't get the twelve against two one. Thanks for your honesty. Mm, done, done, we get. Did you get that? No. <laughs> I didn't. It, it didn't what? I didn't do it, sir. Okay, got you. And 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 that's a and that's a feeling that I'm getting from the from the class that we didn't do this question. But you know, let's just see if we can wrap up. So critical points, we have the, oh, so it says now, how many employees of each kind should be assigned to the project in order to minimize the cost? Can we assign zero, zero? No, sir. No, we can't. All right, so, so a large project, X represents X is junior staff and Y is senior staff. X is junior staff. So we need to have 12 junior staff. And 72. So I suppose I have 12 junior staff and 72 senior staff. Tell me if you agree with that. Yes, yes sir. sir. Yes, sir. All 
All right, now let's go. Sure. So, uh huh. So I then put um I have two exams on one day. We have your exam and they miss a women. Miss a fix try something. Oh, business calculus and business statistics on the same day? Yes, sir. Yes, yeah, work. Matter of fact, the meeting that I'm in just now. The, the meeting that I'm in just now, I don't know if you, you, you hear me in a, another online meeting. Yeah. Is the is academic board meeting and that matter was, was raised. The, that matter was raised that um we need to sort out, sort out, do me a favor. Just drop me drop drop me something um in the in the WhatsApp group to remind me that um you know I need to do something so I can send an email to the assessment services unit about okay. the, the job exam. Matter of fact, tomorrow I'm gonna go down for for vetting of the exam paper. I'll speak about that again. Matter of fact, I won't miss anything to exams. I'll speak about it when I go down tomorrow because the other colleges will have the same problem. Okay, oh, sir. Mm -hmm. Thanks for bringing that to my attention. Then right. right, let's go. Yeah. Do you can send the sample level in the group, please, thanks. All right. You know, to be honest with you, I meant to. I saw it. And I meant to copy it and put it in the group, you know. But anyway, I'll leave Danny to do it for me. All right. Um, um, all right. Thanks, Riri. All right. Let's go. We soon finish it off. Does it make sense for me to do um, the critical point is zero, zero point? No, sir. Tell me why. Because we can't assign zero star. True, true, true word. Me just ask you for make sure you, 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 you know. Nice. Me agree with you. You know, this is where me have my you know, you know. When I'm trying to. Okay, good. All right, no. <clears throat> So the question says, the question says, how many employees of each kind should be assigned to the project in order to minimize the cost? And that is going to be um, Rockstone. Mm. I'm going to show you something. What the question is saying, I'm, I'm, I'm finishing the part, A, you know. The question is don't ask me what is the minimum cost. It says how many employees of each kind should be assigned to the project in order to minimize cost. And they, they use the word minimize. So what they're saying to you is that 72, that 1272 is a minimum, is a minimum, is a minimum value. The question did not ask us to do this. What I'm doing with you now, the question did not ask us to do it, but I want to show you. The question did not ask us to do this, but I want to show you that it's a minimum. Are you following what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Right. So they use a word to minimize. I'm only showing you why they use the word minimize in the question because they would have worked the question before and recognized it's going to be a minimum, relative minimum point. I'm only proving it to you. So I proof. D of XY is going to be equal to F of XX, XY times F of YY xy minus f of xy of x comma y all squared f of x x was sorry c of x x 12 x c of recall c of x x Jesus, I'm going to see them in my boat again. I 
Who am I supposed to do? Am I supposed to vote yes, no, or, or, or I don't know? Which one am I supposed to vote, guys? Yeah, don't know. <laughs> I don't know. All right, I'm not voting. Um, and what was C of Y by again? Two. And C of X Y is Negative equal to what? Negative, Negative 12? 12. Negative 12. All right, good. Um, so f of xx, what, what, recall again that the critical point is 1272. Right. So x is now 12. You follow what I'm saying? Yes, sir. So my D of X, Y is going to be F of X, X, which is going to be 12 times 12 times 2 minus negative 12 all squared. 12 times, 12 times is 144. 144 times 2 is how much? 288? Yes, sir. Is equal to positive. Now, remember, this is positive, and f of x x is positive, so we have a relative minimum. It, it, it's, it's what I'm saying. So they knew that it was going to be a relative minimum. You follow me? Yes, sir. All right, good. So that's why that's why they have the question here. That's why they have it here as how many employees of each kind should be assigned to the project in order to minimize. So they know that it's going to be a minimum. So that's why we're doing that. Then it says, what is the minimum cost? What is the minimum cost? Now, the minimum cost would be... Um, Riri, go yes. and give me the formula. Go and give me the formula for me now, please. Recall. C of X, X, sorry, C, C of C of X, Y. Equals 2,000 uh -huh. plus 2X cubed mm -hmm. minus 12XY plus Y squared. X equal 12, Y equal 72. So C of 12 comma 72 is equal to 2000 plus two times 12 cube minus 12 times 12 times, no, yeah, 72 plus 72 squared. Am I correct? 2,000 plus 2 times 12 x cubed minus 12 times 12 times 72 plus 72 squared. Yeah. So that is going to be equal to 2,000 plus, oh Lord, what is 12 times? I don't have my calculator there and I can't get up to go for it. So you guys have to work with this. What is 12 cubes? 1,728. Times 2? 3,456. All right, good job. What is 144 times 72? 10,368. And what is 72 squared? 5,184. 5,184. 5,184. And tell me now, do that sum for me, please, that addition. Two 
conjurance of entity. Sir, we look at it now. What, what is the minimum cost? Minimum cost is going to be $272. Minimum cost is $272. And what I'm going to research components continues to be something. All right, guys, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to end here, but before I do, the web page, I kind of like this question. Um, oh, sorry, I was going to say something to you. It says, what is the minimum cost? The minimum cost to employ 12 junior staff and 72 senior staff is going to be $272. So, minimum cost is $272. Now, if you see a question like this again, you think, you think you'll be able to do it? Okay, I'm not going to practice, this, but no. No, man, I said that, man. You, 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 you will be able to. Um, I'm going to be sending you... The, when they send you the document. Um, but I really want you to get start working, guys. Guys, exams are just around the corner, you know. What is name now? Um online, this is 21 3 Um, sir, when you go and edit the class, they can resume um, to my two low grades. Sure, no problem, man. Okay. And the question is there, mom? Mm -hmm. Did you right. reopen the course? I think I did, but I'll, I'll go back and look at it. Just if it's not done, just. Just give me another another little nudge and I'll be more than happy to do it for you. Business care is this business care close? Okay, it is business care close. All right, students, please. I'm gonna ask that you start working. It's one thing when your teacher presents. It's another thing when you put your pen to paper and start to practice. Thanks for coming out. Thanks for understanding the situation. Um Thanks for being participating in class today. Um, I have uploaded the notes that we just used in class. It's in your WhatsApp confirm that you received it from me, please. Okay. Okay, yes, good. Sir. Good. Um, go through the stuff. That's all my big for you. Just go through the stuff. Get yourself ready in preparation for the exam. All right. So big up yourself. Take care. Get home safe. You're welcome, Lisa. You're welcome, Jaja. Uh, later guys all the best